Hi, this is Artifacts, and today before we do Mars Science Laboratory Soul 78 Rate Mass Cam video, I'm going to give you an update. Um, the scoop marks and my investigation into it. I did a video on September 19th where I detailed I showed my uh, right shin had gotten all scratched up. And it was, uh, except for the location, it was rather typical of the types of scratches I get. I go to bed and when I wake up, I had scratches on my body. And I was angered by some comments from people and I finally decided enough is enough. So I started a video surveillance program and my computer can handle about four hours per night and that's per session and that's about it. At one frame per second and no sound. But with a little uh, fighting and coercion on my computer I managed to get it to do pretty much what I want. Okay, uh, so I've been photographing myself at night, seeing if some of the claims that were main, being made by rather mean-mouthed people are right or not. One of the claims is that I've been sleepwalking. And by the way, these are claims that are made without any evidence at all. The people just arbitrarily say this stuff. I don't do that type of thing. I ask questions in an effort to learn more information. That's what I do. At any rate, so am I sleepwalking is the first thing. The answer is no. There's been no evidence of sleepwalking. I do move around a bit restlessly. That was never in question. I already knew this. And I, I do kind of wave my legs around a little bit in my sleep and you know, I'll draw them up. When I'm closer to me, my knees will bend. But I'm not sleepwalking. The only times I've gotten up, I was wide awake and knew I was just on the way to John. So, next thing. I've been accused of being violent in my sleep. Well, no. There hasn't been any evidence of that. Although there have been a few selected incidents where I've had a toe go into the wall or a fist go into the wall. Not hard enough to cause injury, however. And I certainly won't explain these uh, infernal scratches. More like abrasions I get on my back and if I'm on my head on my shin, they tend to itch. They don't hurt. You know, it's funny, you know. Two, three weeks ago, I uh, managed to scrape my back on something at work. And got a good gouge. Kind of similar to what I got, get at night. Except, this one I knew about right away. Because it friggin' hurt. It really smarted. And it's smarter for several hours. But the scratches I get don't smart. They itch. It's as if somebody... It is as if somebody is scraping the skin. And that's what I'm thinking. So, in any event... It's pretty obvious that... I'm not... Sleepwalking. After all this time, I would think I've done enough investigations, I've put myself under surveillance enough to know there's no sleepwalking involved, there's no violent behavior. So I really haven't learned anything other than I can sit here and say, yes, it does look like I'm not 
doing these things that people are saying that I'm doing. I can't say that. It does not appear to be any sleepwalking or anything else. So I'm continuing the investigation, sleeping on my couch and hoping to catch whatever it is, whether it is something normal or something abnormal like aliens. And if I do catch something, I will share it with YouTube folks in the world. But at this point in time, it remains a mystery how I'm getting scratched up. Usually it'll be like one or two scratches on my left shoulder blade. Sometimes dead center. I used to get them and I never paid any attention to them. I guess I just figured I was being scratched at work, but that turned out not to be the case. Well, it freaking hurts when you get scratched at work. Uh, and the marks I got night curiosity landed those would be dang near impossible those were on the left shoulder blade and would be almost impossible to get to that and cause the injuries and about that other thing that the videos have shown is that I pretty much am staying right on my back Sleep on my back, stretched out. I don't go into the sphinx position or anything like that. So it would be darn near impossible for you to stick your hand down your back and gouge yourself while you're sleeping. Because you got all that weight and it's just going to collapse your hand and you're not going to get any scratches. So, to summarize this, no, there's no evidence that I'm scratching myself. There's no evidence that anybody else is either, other than I have the scratches. I get the cr scratches occasionally. They come from out of nowhere, and I don't know <laughs> what's causing them. I may suspect the alien abduction scenario, but I can't vocalize and say, yes, it's alien abduction. I can't say that. That wouldn't be right. So, I'm only offering it as possible speculation at this point. But it does seem like the explanations I've been getting, an explanation without evidence is just speculation. That's all they are. And they haven't come to any fruition. There's been no evidence that they're correct. Well, further updates is needed. At this time, still mystery, electronic harassment, and the paranormal stuff seems to have, both of those seem to have subsided. And I'm just left with a mystery. If I get any answers, I'll certainly let folks know. I'm Artifacts of Mars. We're going to do... Curiosity Soul 78 right mass cam and there's some fascinating stuff in it. You just gotta see it. It doesn't look like much at first but you kinda have to look deep in some of these photos. There are, are things that don't look natural. And there's some plant life I want to show as well. Thank you for watching, and we will get to Curiosity Soul 78, right mass cam. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Alright, this is Artifacts of Mars, and we're going to look at Curiosity Soul 78, right mass cam. Uh, this is not as spectacular as some of the photos, but they're, at first glance, it may look like there's not much in this, but it truly is bizarre. 
It's one of the things I'm seeing. Let's get started. You know, I think I'll start at top and work on down. Alright, here we have a green patch. Up here, you're not going to spend a lot of time on uh, obvious plants. Uh, type unknown. And there's like little squares that they seem to be coming out of. I'm not sure what's going on with that. This particular photo is giving me more questions than answers. And here we have kind of a mouse-shaped artifact, or maybe it's a plant. I've seen this in another photo. That type of shape where it kind of looks like a downturned mouth. It does make me wonder what we're dealing with here. I don't have any answers other than it may be a type of plant that's the right color, it's green. And these photos, by the way, have been modded slightly. Tweaking the lighting and color. When I mod something, I do it in order to show what's in it. I don't do it to hide things the way uh, some of our marvelous government agencies do. Here we have some uh, vines, some vine-shaped objects going over that rock there. Um, here we have a clear example of either a thin pipe or a stem. I'm thinking a stem, actually, because it looks like there's a crown of vegetation right in here and definitely have a couple leaves right on top of this object. This is surreal. We're going to have to spend some time on this because it's just bizarre what's in this photo. Now this area here doesn't look all that natural to be honest. I'd say, you know, we have this rectangular shaped hole here. It looks like some sort of duct or vent going out of it. A lot of this stuff is very old, and that's what the problem is. It gets encrusted with rock stuff, and that can make it a little tough to identify. And I don't think that's natural in there. It doesn't look it. This looks like a cylindrical object. And this... We have a saucer-shaped object. Not natural, don't know what it is. And it don't look natural at all. Some of these objects I'm really not able to identify, but I know they're not right. And if I was to take a guess, I'd say we see these round oblong things right in here. Honest to God, they look like cacti. That's what they look like, and they go up on top of this object and cast a shadow on it. They look like cacti. That doesn't mean that's what they are, but that's what they appear to be. They're probably plants. So used to seeing the plants in these photos, uh, it's amazing. Alright, and here's another example. This has a round circle in the middle of it, and it's got this V-shaped notch in it. An artifact, and probably another one right beside it. I'm going to put things on hold, because this may require... i got to spend some time, and it's going to click off if I don't. So I'm going to beat it to the punch. Hold on, please. Okay. I'm going to have at this again. Over here in the corner up at the top, we have a rather bizarre object. I wish I could get a 
a good hard look at this. Uh, had this like this mouse hole shaped hole in it. Kind of a recessed side. And there's a couple of arms that stick up. This arm sticks up like this, comes forward. The other one seems to go pretty much straight up and away from it. It's at an angle, but it's up and away from it. That is bizarre. And I don't have an answer to a lot of these things. Like this object here. That. You know, is part of this other thing, but it's just too weird. What some of these artifacts go to, I have no idea. But it looks like there's a couple pipes, and that's what gives you the V-shaped thing. That's enough of that. We got a lot to cover, believe me. This is just too weird. All right. I like to go left to right, so I've gone down a little bit. And here we have something. It looks almost like weaved basket material. I'm stumped. I have no idea. <laughs> Is it a skeleton from something? And right above it, We have this very curious object with a nose and I also got it looks like a miniature of uh, the time machine from the original time machine movie. It's just bizarre. This this entire photo is so surreal. I could spend, if I had time, I could spend 10 years studying it. That's how surreal it is. Here's something that kind of looks maybe like a broken bone or a stick or something. I'm not going to get into it, spend a lot of time on it. I'm just going to move over to the next area. There's some plant activity right in here. I think I already showed that. So we gotta move down just a little bit. Give me one sec and we'll move down. Why isn't this interesting right here? Looks like a pipe or maybe a cable, probably a cable, running right through here. Not a rock. There's no way. And right above this, here's yet another object of once again I'm stumped. It's not a rock. I don't know what it is. It kind of sticks right on up, and the most interesting aspect is it looks like it's tied to the ground right there. There's looks almost like a string or something. I'm baffled. Yet another artifact right beside it, which kind of a rectangular hole in it. This photo is beyond. Bizarre. Uh, I have no words. So let's take a look here. That looks like the end of a open-end wrench. To be honest with you, that's exactly what it looks like. It may not be what it is, but that's what it looks like just flat out 
total, totally surreal stuff that our scientists aren't even mentioning. And I don't care what you debunkers say, I'm not, I've about had it with you. You debunkers have no right to sit there and arbitrarily say everything's a rock, everything's a rock. You have no right to say that. You can't make that decision. It's not a matter of your right to say it, but you don't have the right to proclaim it. Sit there and proclaim everything's a rock when you're not doing any real research. Myself and others were spending just hours and hours on these photos, studying them, and finding these things, and then somebody comes around and says, it's a rock. That's not science, it's not right, and it's not defendable. And I have about had it with you debunkers. Here's, this really is a rock, but, uh, appears to have a few fossils in it. And there's something on top of it, looks like a plant. And casting a shadow right there. Again, totally surreal. There's more artifacts right in here. Just a bizarre plethora of them. rectangular objects, things that I know aren't natural. It's just beyond bizarre. I haven't even gotten to the lower part of this. We're going to uh, take a look at that in the third segment. You know, save this segment and then we'll take a look at that, like I said. This is to beyond bizarre. It's beyond anything I've seen. Okay, now we're looking at this large rock object. You know, Um, a lot of these photos look like they're out unnatural objects which actually got covered with rock somehow and I'm unable to explain that but we are going to take a look at this this object can take a whole video on, on its own. The interesting feature here is underneath. Right in this area there appears to be I'm thinking these are pipes. The thing that sticks up from the ground definitely looks like pipe. Probably others as well. I tried to enhance them bring them out. I don't have necessary programs to be able to do that very well. But it definitely looks like there's some pipes that run through here. And it just may be that we're seeing some sort of an artifact that's been caked with mud or something like that over time. And the mud hardens on. And there are the green street streaks on top of that that go through here. That's bizarre in and of itself. Maybe plant vegetation, that's what I'm thinking. It's just beyond bizarre. I don't have any words. Down here, there's some kind of structured object. Don't know what it is. Don't really care at this point. And right here, if you look carefully, it's Kind of like a double ring thing. Totally bizarre, probably. <sighs> Excuse me, probably, probably part of an artifact. Completely, utterly strange. Like I said, I could spend a long time, if I had the time, just studying this one photo. There's just incredible amounts of stuff. There's pipes running through here. I'm certain of that. 
So let's move over. Take a look at this strange object. Remember I um, showed that other thing that kind of looked like basket weaving? Well, this thing is hollow. And it looks like there's spikes that or something to stick off and then strings been wound around them. That's what it looks like. It's bizarre. I don't know what to think. I'm completely stumped. I've studied these photos for a long time and some of these things are just overwhelming me because I don't know. Okay. We have an image right here of part of a pipe. That, that I think is pretty obvious. Um, there is a pipe that's running through here, I'm certain of that. Like I said, these may be objects that got caked with mud or rock a long time ago. That's one of the things I'm looking at. Now on the right edge here, We have, once again, this uh, creeping vegetation that's covering things. This is really obvious blue-green. Isn't that beautiful? That's vegetation, folks. Speaking about vegetation, we're going to, uh, in the next segment, I'm going to discuss this little beauty right here and some other things. Hold on please. Alright, uh, like I said, I have a few more bizarre things in this photo to show you. This is what I enjoy doing, is showing people the truth about Mars. Because you ha you have a need to know, not just a right to know, a need to know. So how can you formulate, help to formulate public policy if you're not aware that there's an artifact, that there are artifacts and structures and possibly a whole civilization on that planet? They may be living underground, they may be limited. But how can you... But if we are in contact with an alien civilization, people have to know this because you're the ones who help to formulate policy. Take a look at this. Sticking up from the rock object. Once again, that doesn't look natural. I don't have any real answers. But I've been aching and aching to show this plant right here. This is a vine. You see how it comes from in front of this rock and goes up and over the top. That rules out that this could be a rock. As a matter of fact, the stem continues apparently for some distance. This is a vine, a pretty clear indication of a vine. Completely, utterly bizarre. I mean, it's a plant, I'm used to seeing the plants and all that. I understand this. There are more examples right in here of apparent stems running right through here. One that goes up and then comes off the side. No question. Either those are plant stems or they're cables or something. My guess would be plant stems. Totally, utterly bizarre. If I had the time, I could spend... I could spend months stunning this easily. Not much over here. Hopefully we're going to get down to the low, lowest part of this photo. This one's been to so totally absurd. I, I don't know what to make of it. 
there's an incredible amount of information here in Soul 78, right mass cam. There's something bizarre right there. I don't know what to make of it. But look down here. This might be part of the rover right here. It looks out of focus. Probably is part of the rover. If it's not, I'd love to know what it is. Look right down here. These are apparently... They look like... Stems or roots? They're natural, I believe, but they look like stems or roots. We don't see any plant that they could be feeding. There's minimum five or six of them. Totally, utterly bizarre. Here's another object with this thing sticking out and kind of a round object inside of it. This is not natural, this is an artifact. There's kind of an arching thing here and it kind of looks like a cutaway of a submarine in a way. Totally bizarre. Totally surreal. Not natural. And make sure when you go over this photo, drag and drop it from Snake and Hunter Enterprises, but make sure that you go over it and fine tooth comb, look for the artifacts and plants. Because there's just unbelievable amounts of stuff in this photo. It doesn't look like much until you actually start getting into it. And this is one of those, you know, sleeper photos. Where there's just bizarre amounts of objects and plants and everything else. Not so much plants, but there are some plants. Totally, absolutely bizarre. There's a lot to study in this photo, and I'm hoping somebody, just to recap it for this photo, I hope somebody can bring this out for me. I would uh, appreciate it. Next slide. Okay, this is the second slide. I went a little long on that one, but there's just so much in it that it's bizarre. There isn't a great deal in this photo, to be honest. You see the green of some of the vegetation that's out of focus, of course. You see the vegetation is just creeping all over the place, over these rocks. Not a lot. Here's that bluish green plant life again, and again up at the top. And here's some of the strange objects that I showed in the previous slide. And I think it resembles one arm bandit is right there. Totally, utterly surreal. Alrighty. Uh, like I said, not a lot. We're gonna, I'm going to put this on hold and start a new segment. Okay, not much here. I said a few plants, that type of thing. We're going to take a look at the next slide. Very little here except one of these fossil rocks that I keep seeing. Kind of looks like a little footprint there and another there. There's a few shells and stuff. This is actually fairly typical. Something's making these marks, whether they're fossils or 
plants. I've seen evidence that there are plants actually growing right out of the rocks, which that would not be unprecedented. We see it in earth photos too, uh, earth objects. A lot of these rocks just have these bizarre holes in them. And it's not like a, it's not totally unprecedented to see them here on Earth, and usually it's because they have fossils. Other than that, they have some bizarre stuff down here. I have a solid ridge that runs through here. I don't know what it is. Maybe piping. Not a whole lot in this photo. Take a look at this depression in this rock object. Another thing that I don't have an answer for. What's causing these? Are these fossils or are they something else? Right, I think we'll take a look at the final slide. This is the last slide for today. Here we have an unusual looking artifact. Show that other thing that kind of looked like a wrench in the first photo. This may be an artifact, or it might actually be natural, I don't know, in this case. But I'm thinking it's probably not natural. Take a look at this opening. You have this little piping system right here that comes out of there and it goes up and it's joined here and it goes across so there's a pretty clear image of a pipe right there and more pipes coming off it you know I'm stumped how this can just be ignored and I don't need any scientists know what a pipe is. I see pipes every day. I see them sticking out of cars. But somehow this notion has arisen in this country that people are not smart enough to know a pipe in the fall. Or something like that. You know, we're not smart enough to know what's in the fall we need the scientists to tell us. I hate that. I hate that with a passion. I try to bring this stuff to people because I believe that you need to know this and because I enjoy doing it. I love bringing these photo, these videos to you. I may not be the best of speakers, but I love doing it. Wish I could do this for a living. I do this all day long. More possible fossils. Lots of right angles in many of these objects. And here's more of that vegetation. This is a pretty good close-up where you can see the leaves and uh, stems and everything else. This is a pretty good one right in here. This is really good evidence of plants. And it's on Mars. And the public isn't being told by NASA. This is why I do it. I enjoy telling you and show, trying to show people, but more than that, I think it's duty and the responsibility for the public to be shown this. Even if there's a civilization on Mars now, how can you hope to formulate public policy if you're being lied to about a civilization on Mars? This is the thing. The answer is you can't. If we're in contact with a genuine alien race, then, or more than one, 
then the public has to know this so that they can help formulate public public policy. It's as simple as that. You have a need to know. There's so many strange things running through here. I'm going to wrap this up. These uh, photos are on my website. These ones have been modded a little bit, like I said. Some of these things, like this uh, tiny little piping complex right in here, I need some help in getting that enhanced and bringing it out to show the public. There's no question what it is. I've identified that. That's the end of it. And there's a hole, there's something inside there. So that's an identification. I'm not taking it back. And I got news for you debunkers. I've bought hat with your crap of it's a rock. No it isn't. Now, I don't know what goes through your head. Some of you probably believe your own stuff. Some of you are undoubtedly lying. But enough is enough. If you don't like the fact that I and others are showing the public what's in these photos. You don't really have to like it. Just turn a blind eye and let it go on. What the hell do you care if you honestly don't believe it? If you do believe it, then we got a major problem, of course. And there's no way to say who is and who is not believing this stuff and who's intentionally lying, who's for real. It's known that the government can fake internet posters, they do it on a regular basis. That's been in the news. To recap, this is a bizarre se series of photos, there's a lot in them, especially the first one that I showed. There are artifacts, there are plants. I didn't see any major structures or anything in this photo. Well, anyway, I'm just going to recap here. I got cut off again. There's so many bizarre things. And, you know, I need your help in getting this stuff out. Feel free to copy my videos. And distribute them, display them on your website, whatever you want, as long as you keep them intact. Show the public the artifacts, show them that they're being lied to and deceived, and demand answers. I thank you for viewing, and hopefully I'll uh, get my other business straightened out with Find out what's causing the scratches on my back at night. I'm Artifacts from Mars. Thank you for your kind attention.